Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Wanted to show you what I think is the score on solar panels. Now, one of the things to keep in mind that I think people are getting confused with, the cabin is a cabin. It's going to be used two or three days at a time. I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to build a solar system that's going to power our house. Uh, what I'm trying to do is learn how solar works, what all is needed, how to use it efficiently, and it's basically an experimental process for me. So you try to do it as like budget friendly as you can. <laughs> you know, if I'm gonna burn something up or screw up and make a mistake, I don't want to do it with, you know, high dollar brand new equipment. So what these are, you know, you saw the batteries I bought. Uh, they were two-year-old batteries and I got them for a heck of a good deal so I got 480 amp hour batteries these four solar panels these are 120 watts each 12 volt 120 watt solar panels uh, they have a, a thing in them called blocking diodes uh, I guess if part of the panel is in shade, it seems to affect a lot of the panel. Well, with these blocking diodes, it doesn't do that. I guess it doesn't have an effect on it. But these aren't really used. They're older, uh, but they're, I guess you would call them new old stock. Um, they've never been installed anywhere. And I paid $80 a piece for them. So I got 480 watts of solar. Uh, for three hundred twenty dollars, and I was real pleased with that. Um, it's going to let me learn. It's going to let me get a really nice setup at that cabin uh, with those four batteries and these four solar panels. I've got a sixty amp uh, charge controller. I, it's a PWM. I wish it was MPPT. I wish I could afford a sixty amp MP. PT charge controller but you know $25 charge controller again if I screw it up it was only a $25 one and not you know a hundred dollar one so the whole game is to learn experiment and try not to, to mess up expensive things <laughs> and I found this you know I found those batteries on the Facebook marketplace and I found these on Facebook marketplace I mean you know I drove 150 miles in one direction to get that deal on batteries these were actually on the way to St. Bernard Acres somebody had them up in Ohio um, so I snatched them while I could so I've got so far in my batteries and these solar panels I've got $620 um, I got, like I said, a $25 uh, charge controller, a $60 inverter, and I'll be running a lot of the lights inside the cabin. The, the only 110 I'm really going to use is for the TV, you know, antenna, like that. All the lighting is going to be 12 volt LED lighting, so it's going to be minimal draw on the batteries. So I'll have, I mean, it's going to be more than sufficient, I think. And, you know, 480 watts is not enough to, oh, you got to have 2,000 watts, you know, for those batteries, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time. Well, these are going to sit all week long. I mean, nobody's going to be out there. So they will be soaking up the sun, and those batteries will be fully charged. And when we get there, like I said, LED lights. What are we going to use? How much power are we going to use out of the 400 and, what are there, 180 piece, 432 amp hours of battery? So these are going to work out perfectly, I think. Uh, good way to learn, good way to experiment. Gary and I are going to build a nice tall rack for them and mount them up on a rack and get some experience with solar. That's the name of the game. I uh, hope you all like this. Uh, make sure you you know comment share this on your social media uh, so I, other people might be interested in how to do solar 
I'm not a, a, an expert. I'm not going to teach people how to do it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it up and find deals on stuff. Um, you know, I'm not going to buy pre-made cables. I got to wire all the batteries up in parallel. I'm not going to buy pre-made cables. I'm going to go get, you know, 20 feet of 8 gauge wire and put my own ends on them. I'll show you how to do that kind of stuff. Uh, that I know how to do. And we'll figure out a budget friendly way to go with solar. Uh, that would be awesome to have this much power and this much storage out there for less than a thousand dollars. I think I can get away with it for less than a thousand dollars. And uh, good for the cabin. But I got to get these things loaded up in the truck now. I went and picked them up in the car. I did not realize they were going to be over five feet tall. You know, I've got two 100 watt solar panels out there that I bought a few years ago that are like half the size but like I said these are older these are probably uh, I'm gonna say six years old eight years old uh, like I said they've never been installed you can see all the little tabs and everything still on most of them they've, from the packaging uh, new old stock so hope y'all enjoyed this Please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll be talking to you from out the property tomorrow. This is Joe. I'm out.